As a theatre artist, I'm always interested in where I can find stories. Posters are just like visual storytelling. They can inform, educate or persuade audiences. Their imagery is often very moving or can provoke other emotions in us. Take a look at this poster by junior doctor Alice Bell Chambers. It's simple and powerful and the central figure appears to be appealing directly to the audience. Does it look familiar? It's a take off this famous army recruitment poster from the First World War. This one too is reminiscent of a political poster from World War II. The original called for the public to do their bit for the country at war. And now we're sharing a similar message during peacetime. Have a look at the figures in the poster. The woman on the left, look at her eyes. What are they saying? To me, they look tired and worried, which corresponds to the images in the media of exhausted NHS workers. And it's slightly at odds with the heroic stance of the other two, heads up, shoulders back, who have a determined look on their faces. You can see how these posters tell a story of the circumstances we're living through and of people's attitudes too. You can also see that the imagery and words the artists have chosen takes that of wartime and repurposes it for the current health crisis. For today's creative task, you have a choice of activities. For the first task, if you like me and a bit nervous of visual arts, I'd like you to find a poster or an image from the Peace and Pandemic exhibition and write a story or poem based on it. Tell a story about the characters or the setting or use the strap lines or other imagery as stimuli. Or for the second task, you could design and make a poster of your own. Think of an issue you really care about. Come up with a slogan, create appropriate imagery and take inspiration from other posters. This is my poem based on a Peter Kennard poster. The poster is a reworking of an image Kennard first produced for the CND. I took the strap line, the imagery of space and the swirling clouds around the earth as starting points. Afterwards, the rumour is another world is possible. It'll be different afterwards. Whispers are increasing now, life will be slower, intentional. Not the constant swirling, sidestepping, forward but not progressing that was before. Join together, voices call, turn murmur to a shout, take a breath, step out. Learn not to fear the blank space under our feet before we hit the ground. Fill that emptiness with possibility, it will be better next time. Although I'm not a visual artist, I got my hands messy this morning and had a go at creating my own protest poster. This is my poster. It says, fund the NHS, testing, not trident. It's based on this Cold War protest poster from the Polish Peace Committee. For my poster, I took the images of the four nuclear warheads and turned them into hypodermic needles. I was inspired by the Peace Pledge Union's open letter to the government. This is why I chose my slogan, Fund the NHS, Testing, Not Trident. We can't wait to see what you create. Remember to send your posters or your stories or poems into us on our social media at the Peace Museum.